Nephrology expert Dr. April Kennedy joins me today to talk about kidney basics. Dr. Kennedy, do you ever have a patient who doesn't know how their kidneys work and then end up needing treatment? Yes, it's quite common actually. A 53-year-old patient of mine had been dealing with fatigue and high blood pressure, came to me and asked if there might be something wrong with his heart. Jeremy's very healthy, and so right away, I knew that I needed to run labs on him, particularly a urine test and a blood test, which are two simple lab tests used to screen for kidney disease. A lot of Jeremy's symptoms may look like heart issues, but this is a common misconception because most don't understand or even know the function of the kidneys. Although very small, these four to five inch long bean-shaped organs work hard to keep the rest of your body in balance. Kidneys help remove excess fluid and waste, control blood pressure, help make red blood cells, help keep bones healthy, and help control your body's pH levels. After the results came back, I discovered that Jeremy's kidneys are damaged. Over time, toxins have built up and are causing him to feel sick. Chronic kidney disease is a silent killer because people may not feel sick or even notice any symptoms until their kidneys can no longer remove fluids and waste. Damaged kidneys affect every part of your body. This can cause serious problems, including heart disease and heart attack, stroke, anemia, nerve damage, high blood pressure, and eventually kidney failure. Furthermore, diabetes and high blood pressure are risk factors that increase your chances of getting kidney disease. Many don't know this, but 33% of Americans have or are at risk for kidney disease. And black Americans are almost four times as likely as white Americans to develop kidney failure. While black Americans make up about 13% of the population, they account for 35% of the people with kidney failure in the United States. Jeremy was courageous and proactive. He took charge of his care and recognized that knowledge is power in helping him know his treatment options and slowing his progression. So Jeremy is now empowered and can plan ahead and possibly inform others. Yes, and I encourage everyone to be an active participant and take charge of their health. Do your part, ask questions, and be prepared. We are essentially partners in your care. Thanks, Dr. Kennedy.